by statistics is basically a statistics applied to uh, biomedicine statistics. Uh, the definition that I like is the science or discipline that transforms data into information. So at the beginning we have data, possibly lots of it, like uh, nowadays in biomedicine. And uh, hopefully after applying a set of techniques, uh, we've come uh, one step closer towards having a story. So it's basically this, it's a discipline that turns nonsensical data in principle into uh, hopefully useful information. So the, the list is long. <laughs> uh, so, so one critical aspect is underestimating the uncertainty in the results, right? So we provide, we all provide results in, in, in journals and uh, usually those are the best looking results you have to offer. So usually they are slightly biased to make you look good, even if you didn't mean to be biased, but of course you end up showing the best results. Sometimes when we don't find results, this is interpreted as there's nothing relevant to find, and oftentimes it's just that the experiment has not been designed adequately. So really, we do find things and we know they're there in the, in the best world, but then when we don't find them, that doesn't prove that they're not there. And also that's something that we need to be very, very careful. So in technical words, that's called false positives and false negatives, and that's one of the things that statistics takes uh, care about. I would say one of the biggest challenges for uh, bioinformatics or statistics uh, is to go from the usual situation in the 20th century where we had small data sets with few cases and measuring a few things to the 21st century which is empowered by new technologies uh, where we can measure lots and lots of things on many people and so really the amount of data is much larger. We need to transition starting from the very basic theory that we use like mathematics and theorems uh, moving on to how to make that uh, to the implement that theory in, in a computer um, and then and then going from popularizing these approaches so that they are used in the real world by by applied researchers.